Uh, my name is Fazal Hussain. Uh, I am a currently a final year. Uh, hopefully, I am audible. Yes. Uh, I am a final year student of Bachelor of Civil Engineering at National University of Science and Technology. Uh, I have completed my research work under supervision of Dr. Rorslan Ushnud. Uh, the to topic of today's uh, presentation is an innovative solution for lightweight concrete design automation with machine learning. As uh, you know, that every field uh, is inspiring with the uh, AI, uh, AI due to its numerous benefits. I have started my research to implement, to solve the problems of construction industry, which we is facing uh, to, uh, through uh, application of machine learning to solve these problems. The uh, outline of my presentation is this. Now, initially uh, bricks uh, we are using as a load bearing walls. Uh, and after at, uh, at this uh, development of high rise concept of high rise structures, they were using as infill brick walls. And the application of, uh, uh, and after uh, due to the heavy weight of brick work, the, they increase the overall dead load of the construction uh, of, of the section due to this uh, high, uh, high reinforcement of, have been provided, which increase the overall construction cost. Second thing, uh, its response to the earthquake is very poor, which is the one of the leading uh, problem uh, against the earthquake, which is a recently earthquake of uh, uh, in uh, Turkey is facing. And second, it is contaminating our uh, air pollution during the production of uh, bricks. Brick clean contribute around 28% of air pollution to the environment and contaminated our environment and reduces our uh, glaciers and uh, increasing the CO2 emission. And if we look at thermal properties, it is also very poor because as the temperature increases, it increases the uh, heat uh, heat of the uh, room, and which ultimately increases the cost of uh, heating, cooling, load, expensive. These are the some drawbacks which uh, industries have been faces. And after these drawbacks, it, uh, researchers had developed lightweight concrete uh, because of its numerous benefits: lightweight, better sound insulation, reduction in earthquake forces. Uh, reduction in reinforcement, better heat insulations, and uh, cost effective. These are uh, some benefits on the basis of this lightweight concrete buffer over the bricks. Uh, different types of uh, uh, aggregate, lightweight aggregate uh, using natural and artificial uh, using in production of lightweight concrete, including perlite, uh, rubber ties, and foam cement. Now, what is the problem? The problem is that the mixed design of lightweight concrete is a bit complicated because of following reason. Varying compressive strength of aggregate, varying density, and uh, water absorption are the some reasons which make the design of, uh, uh, increase the number of experimental trials, which is time consuming. And considering these problems, I have started different uh, researches and uh, conducted that we can utilize machine learning to solve these problems uh, to uh, for the make optimize mixed design for lightweight concrete. If we talk about the machine learning, a data set has been given to the model and train different demo models and tune it. And finally, output of it is mechanical properties like uh, compressive strength, density. To the data set of the, uh, this study, we have a, I have a collected that the mixed, different mixed proportions and including the lightweight aggregate characteristic and uh, perform these uh, different MN models uh, trained and finally, the output of this uh, study was com concrete compressive strength and density. Initially, uh, 100 plus research publication has been collected out of uh, from which 420 data point extracted and uh, performing after different statistical techniques to uh, normalize the data set and uh, make it suitable for the machine learning. So after developing uh, and normalizing the data set, five machine learning models have been trained to see entry, XGBoost, artificial neural network, and Gaussian process. And their performance has been assessed on the basis of uh, different uh, statistical indicators, including R, uh, R scare, um, root mean scare, and mean scare. And comparing uh, these models, uh, Gaussian process regression model performed better with R scare for training 0 0.99 and testing 0 0.92. And after development of uh, these model, these uh, model have been uh, 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 tested on the experimental data set. For the experimental uh, validation, uh, I have selected uh, out of lightweight aggregate, artificial expanded, expanded clay aggregate. First, we have a, I have collected uh, different uh, clay samples and uh, uh, after initial their, their geotechnical investigation, these clay samples were uh, utilized to uh, produce uh, or uh, artificial expanded aggregate on different temperature zones. And after development of uh, uh, expanded clay aggregate, 
I have utilized these expanded Kelly aggregate to produce the uh, lightweight aggregate, uh, lightweight concrete based on expanded Kelly aggregate. Finally, uh, to, uh, their uh, testing, mechanical testing had been conducted on different curing temperature uh, with the density and compressive strength as the output test to develop the experimental data set. After development of experimental data set, these experimental data set has been uh, well, uh, uh, given to the machine learning models and trained and tested again. And after connecting that, the results we are uh, found very uh, good that the training uh, for compressive strength training R scale is 0 0.99 and testing with 0 0.92. And for concrete density, it's uh, R scale is 0 0.98 and 0 0.95. Uh, after development of the and validating these uh, machine learning models, uh, best ML model code can be extracted and a graphical user interface application has been designed. This application is very useful in terms of that a man who does not know how to uh, use the machine learning and the advanced techniques. He just put the values, uh, cement sand, water to cement ratios, uh, water quality, lightweight aggregate quantity, density, and uh, after it will run press, and he will know that what is the density of uh, its lightweight concrete and strength. So uh, using these techniques, we can uh, uh, help the, our construction industry to produce a better quality of concrete and uh, make the process of uh, uh, mixed design very easy. And uh, in summary, machine learning can offer several practical benefits in predicting concrete properties, including um, optimizing mix design uh, proportion, uh, improve quality control through crack uh, uh, predictions, and uh, reduce the waste by reducing the number of trials to make the optimized concrete design, and predictive maintenance to monitor the uh, bridges uh, with the reinforcement uh, uh, or direct con uh, connection with environment, and uh, those areas where we cannot assess the uh, concrete, so we can utilizing these uh, ML techniques to uh, find its mechanical characteristic, and ultimately we can go to great sustainability. And after this, I have uh, published uh, a detailed research publication, uh, which is was first based on machine learning based predictive modeling of sustainable lightweight aggregate concrete, um, yeah, which is recently published. And its experimental uh, study has been recently published with the study of physical me uh, and mechanical behavior of artificial aggregate made of Pakistani clays. And, and thank you so much for your listening. And if you have a question, please ask me. Thank you so much, Fazal. Um, time for questions. Please, if you have any, raise your hand. Moto. Please. Yes, uh, Fadal, thank you very much. Uh, the approach itself is very universal and it's very interesting research. Um, I have a question about input parameters. Um, yes. You showed some slide uh, that shows the, some parameters, like slide number 15, I think. And uh, it yes. includes, includes like fly ash, for example. Yes. But, but usually it depends on the type of fly ash as well, right? Yes. And where did you get data for uh, learning? Uh, initially, uh, basically, I have collected, uh, there are mostly two types, FC class, which is mostly in my country using. And but the uh, here is a special which is a textile based uh, fly ash, uh, mm -hmm. textile based. And this fly ash is utilizing uh, it as a chemical characterization. And this is a C class fly ash which uh, utilizes in this um, uh, data set development. And uh, mm -hmm. mostly this uh, fly ash is utilized to uh, enhance its uh, characteristic uh, for a secondary cementus and make the lighter uh, matrix of the concrete. Okay, so train training data are all from yes. your your country. Your yes. country's research. Okay. Yes. And how, how many, how, how much data did you have? Uh, okay. any, uh, it's uh, 420 data points uh, had been collected oh, okay. uh, on uh, 100 plus publication, plus 100 per data has been uh, sample has been uh, uh, casted in my lab uh, in which I have developed and totally 520 data points. Okay. Thank you. And, and another, another, this, this is just comment. But yes. In my understanding, uh, when people, uh, design concrete, they also um, look at the fresh properties. Yes. So you, you said like concrete strength and density, but I think they have some correlation. Uh, because so uh, I would say, yes. yeah, I would say rather you want to focus on, for example, slump or some yes. other numbers related to yes. workability of fresh properties. J just yes. Uh, yes. Uh, because uh, in my research, the main focus is on the lightweight concrete panels now. Uh, mm -hmm. These are based on, uh, uh, the in my country, they most focus on the final properties like uh, uh, panels, uh, its final strength and uh, density. 
So mm-hmm. on the considering this application we have designed, but it can also vary on the basis of like a slump. We can predict the slump flexure properties of concrete and many more properties. But the this the scope of this study is limited to these two properties. Okay. Yeah. On the basis of applications. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Motu. I'm here, please. Yeah, thank you, Faisal. This it's really thank interesting you. to become. Um, I, I like your your work, but I have some comments and questions. So if you go back for slide fifteen, please. Yes. So so here here is the, this is, let's say this is the conclusion of your work. This is the this is the so the program the input yes. and the output. So. Uh, I I I worked a lot on, on lightweight concrete, so it's our and lightweight aggregates. It's mainly based on my topic on and PhD. So one of the most important parameters for for the lightweight is the the absorption and the water content, the the porosity. Yes. Uh, how you treat it, how you solve it with your software or your, with your result. Uh, yeah. You see, it's basically is a data set which is a uh, 24 hour uh, water absorption of aggregate has been conducted. Initially, uh, the different uh, literatures and be reported, uh, which have reported that the different types of aggregate, as you have mentioned, that uh, there are light with different various uh, pumice, sawdust, expanded clay aggregate uh, on basis, and they all aggregate have a different water absorption. So considering this data set, uh, the initial development of uh, extra data set, we have uh, collected the, a data set which include almost all the aggregate, including its water absorption. Because the researches exist is uh, most precarely, they include just the properties of concrete matrix, not include the like, just as you mentioned, these are the properties, lightweight aggregate properties, water absorption, its density. So these properties have been included on the various uh, data as we reported. In my lab, I have uh, conducted on the basically expanded clay aggregate for the, its validation. Uh, so uh, it's a 24 hour uh, water absorption of the expanded clay aggregate and we observe and find that the mostly water absorption is around 10 to 20, uh, 12% of expanded clay aggregates of its weight. Okay, so so uh, another question. W- yes. For for normal aggregate, you mean this is the fine aggregate or, 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 or if we have a replacement for the lightweight aggregate? Uh, it's a basically a replacement of coarse aggregate. It's a pre- okay. So if we don't have a co- the, if it's totally lightweight aggregate, we will put zero. Yes, yes. We can upload. Can we try you... the software? Uh, yes, uh, it, it's a program based. If you ask me, I will share the whole program with you, and you can ch- just try and, and input it and uh, finally output it. Because the, in the initial training data set, you just put the cement, sand, water cement ratio, and if it, any integrant like a lightweight occurred, uh, quantity is zero, and it is uh, based on normal aggregate. So you just put it zero, and it will give you output, which is ultimately, if you say this, it's uh, around 80 megapascal. Because without a uh, normal aggregate, we cannot achieve our highest strength. And this is the comparison of this uh, application. If you achieve a higher strength for this, you need to normal aggregate uh, and a mixture of normal and lightweight aggregate. But at the same time, uh, your density will go to 1800. But if you come to density a strength of 12 megapascal, then ultimately your density will decrease, and which is the comparison between the direct proportion between these. And this is the comparison with similar implicate in the application because it's learned from the algorithm, this data set, and using uh, processing this data set in the machine learning based application, and finally a graphic user interface, just link these apps uh, button to the input variables. That, that's really. Nice. Thank you. So okay, much. last question for the curing yes. time. Uh, you mean the curing time underwater, or the curing time before the testing, or the age of the the specimen? Uh, uh, if you can repeat the question again, please. About the curing time. Yes, uh, it's uh, uh, around uh, uh, the curing time in this uh, data set and be utilizing from one day to uh, to uh, the thirty days. Because of, there are various samples which are cured at three uh, days, five, six days, seven days, 12 days, 28 days, and 56 days. These all days and samples have been collected in the data set during training set. And if a person who wants to that, if these are a proportion he just put and the 28 uh, during time, it will include that is, it will be strength according to this. Okay, and the result will be the characteristic one at 28 days? Yes, mostly, uh, mostly data set I have the concept which is the sample I have extracted data set is based on 28 days. But in the, my experimental uh, uh, program, I have utilized this data set on the basis of seven days I have included, three days, 14 days, 28 days, 100 days, 15 days, 17 days. 
my question if I put in a curing days, let's say I have a specimen, I cured it underwater for seven days, uh, and I put here in, in, in your uh, program, uh, it's seven days. Uh, yes. The result, the compressive strength result, uh, will be yes. for the seven days or for the 28 days? No, it will be according to seven days. If you put the strength or, or curing time of 28 days, it will uh, correspond to the 28 days because the initial data set which has been trained on the this ML algorithm train is based on the various data points and with the varying curing time. And if you put the 28 days, it will give you strength according to 28 days. If you put the three days, it will give you lower strength according to days. Yeah, but the curing day, the curing time is different than the age of the concrete. So you uh, let, let's say if we I, I cure the, the, the concrete for seven days or I want to cure it for seven days and I want to expect the characteristic compressive settings, how much it will go, not for seven days. So I, 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 I it's, it's not a question, it's a recommendation. So I would recommend you to to improve your your program for future to have usually the people looks for the characteristic compressive strength which is uh, at 28 uh, days so uh, you can keep the the curing as an independent factor or link it in different way i'm, I'm not very familiar with the with the programming but yes. you can link the the curing it could be independent for 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 the for for other for for the properties but the the result it's better to be the characteristic one so it's it will be more feasible for the people or for the users uh, yes, uh, I have included this because uh, it's an initial uh, stage uh, which uh, we recently uh, ML uh, has been interacted in the different researches. When I have published this research paper, I have included the first time curing time in the in the uh, in this research field because mostly if you uh, read the machine learning based predictive papers, these are mostly consisted of the paper which in only include the uh, ingredients and final predict properties. And this is the first which have included aggregate characteristic plus test curing time. But might it improve with the future as the data set of the uh, data set will increase? It research has been increases and make the research in future is more accurate prediction with the accurate accuracy. Yeah, good job. Thank you very much. Thank you this. so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bram, I think you have your hand raised. I'm not sure if your answer. I I had some similar thoughts. Um okay. I guess one one final one perhaps is is had you could can your your machine learning tool be used the other way around if you mm -hmm. if I have a target some target properties and what what input parameters do I need to achieve those is a question mm -hmm. could mm -hmm. Fazal, are you are you there we are have not we, have we lost oh. uh can you please repeat I have a miss uh, your question I sure I am I, I just wondered whether whether you've looked at using your tool the other way around. So if I have some target properties, can you use this to to tell me what input parameters I need to achieve them? Uh, if you have a concrete properties targeted, yeah. So if I have a specific strength and density that I want to achieve, yes, yes. Uh, it's a uh, it's called a backup program. If you put a, the pro, a final output and what is will be the mix ratio. It's a back propagation program, and we will shift this program. And uh, rather than inputting the uh, mix rate per proportions, we have uh, input the final output. Like uh, if you want, uh, if a client come and he asks you to give me a, a concrete, develop a concrete which has a strength of 28 megapascal and density is 1000. So you just plug in the and this and this program will shift and uh, the input will come to a result and out output will come to this but this program will also shift and develop again application based and this will give you the mixed proportion that how much you have to water water and cement sand and land aggregate and the other input 